We are experiencing technical difficulties. We'll be on the air in a moment. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to go back with B&D Chronicles, starring your host, Beamer! Dawn. With their two boys, Tyler and Bradley. Together, and with their two children, this dynamic duo make up what is known as B&D Chronicles. So as they're out and about, just peeping around, you never know who these two might even run into. It could be Graham, it could be aliens, it could even be this guy! It could even be this lovely couple right here. So strap yourselves in, make yourself comfortable, and get ready to go back with B and D Chronicles. Welcome back, everybody. We're back. So now that I've got my hot caffeinated beverage of goodness, and as the title says, yes. The force is strong with this video, including this cup of coffee. Anyway. So this year marks 40 years since Empire Strikes Back came out in theaters. Its initial release date was May 21st, 1980. And holy cow, that was a good bit before I came along. But this saga has a special place in my heart, especially this one. As a matter of fact, that's why we are here coming to you guys, because tonight is a special night. This weekend in select theaters, including ours, Empire Strikes Back will rear its head onto the silver screen once again. And I am thoroughly excited to say that me, my family, and a couple of my friends acquired some tickets. So tonight at about seven o'clock, we will be going to the theater to see this. I can't wait. But until then, we got a couple things to do. You know how it is. There's no real strict way of doing things. So let's go ahead and get this day going. But of course, while we wait, gotta have some more of this wonderful cup of joe. Which reminds me, there's somebody else in a similar situation that uh, needed a bit of coffee. Hmm, I can't quite think of who that was. What's the matter with this thing? What's all that churning and bubbling? You call that a radar screen? No, sir. We call it Mr. Coffee. Care for some? Yes! I always have coffee when I watch radar. You know that. Of course I do, sir. Everybody knows that. Of course we do, sir! Oh, yes. Dark helmet. That's right. All right, so we're in the car. We're on our way. Poor baby kids had to work overnight. But the reason what we're doing right now, she's getting a new job. She starts it on my birthday. And we're very, very excited. So we gotta go and take care of a couple of things and we'll be right back. 
So we've come up to the hospital real quick. She's got to get some blood work done for her new job. And now that he's home from school, which they only had half day, sitting back there playing a switch. Are you ready for Star Wars tonight? Yeah. Guess what? what? So am I. I've been waiting a long time to see the original, well, one at least. I would love to see all three of them. Back when I was about, about your age, maybe a little bit older actually. Like they, 10? 10 or 11. They came out with a special edition. They came out to theaters. They showed number four for a little while, then Empire Strikes Back came out, and then Return of the Jedi. So, yeah. Actually, at one point, Star Wars, they didn't call it A New Hope. It was just Star Wars. And then they renamed it. Yeah. So while we're waiting, I forgot my switch. I guess I gotta sit here and twiddle my thumbs. Nah, I'll be all right. It, it'll be as simple as this. Hi, baby. Hi. You okay? They had to draw blood. A TB test, basically, before she could start. Um, so, we're over here at Walmart. We gotta get a couple things. I am on the hunt for a shirt in my size, because all the other ones that I've ever gotten, I've outgrown them, mm -hmm. as you can tell. Um, I'm trying to find something Star Wars, so. And maybe they might even have a mask in here that's Star Wars. Don't have to have it on when you're sitting down, but you have to have it on when you're to get to your seat. To get to your seat. So we're gonna go see what we can see and whatnot. So we're just in here looking for clothes to find her for work. And then next we're gonna be looking for me. Not a big selection. It seems like this is the only one. Which I already have. So real quick, they've actually taken away the walk this way and don't walk this way from all the areas here in walmart very interesting even on the food side there are none to be seen you can go up and down any aisle. i guess you wish in any direction up or down it doesn't matter it can be found all around forgot to mention that neither one of us were successful at finding what we were looking for so i didn't quite find what i was looking for but you found most of the stuff though, right? Um, that you kinda. were kind of looking for? I found basics. Basics. Not the clothes. Yeah. But we'll have to go to Augusta for that, I think. Yeah, but I think it'd be all right. But uh, we've still got a couple hours to kill, so I'm going to leave you with this wonderful time lapse that I think I'm going to take when I get home. We'll be outside. Oh, oh, poor, me. poor baby just needs a nap. So. We'll be back after a while. Still got a couple of other things to do, so see you very shortly. You look beautiful, you know that? Thank Even you. if you're tired. Thank you. Right, Brad? Yeah. What are you doing? Okay, let's switch things up. Ha! Ah, so it's a little bit later and we're about ready to embark on a wonderful journey to a galaxy far, far away to a long, long time ago. Let's go. What are they up to? Well, since everybody knows what this movie is like, I'll spare you. Well, kind of. Maybe. I don't know. But this is going to be fun. First time for everybody seeing this in theaters. No, I had a thought. What's that? So they found Luke's lightsaber obviously in episode five, right? Where did they find the hand too? It, it probably was still attached to it. It was probably a skeleton like by a, then. It would have been floating in the in the sky. Unless and, uh, with the rebooted continuity that they're talking about, they're gonna have it from the extended universe where they clone Luke <laughs> and have the clone I forgot of the about that years ago in control of him. Interesting stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so let's go ahead 
and watch Empire for the first time, I will tell you what I thought. I mean, I love the movie regardless, but seeing it on the on the on the big screen for the first time. Hi, baby. Hi. Right, so I have the tickets. We are ready to embark. 40th anniversary. So it has been a little while since we've been in here. I gotta show you something that actually really caught my eye, given the mask issue. So when you come in, masks are required at all times, except for when being seated. And I love that they put the mask. We all wear masks, metaphorically speaking. Who <laughs> okay. It's party time. P-A-R-T. Why? Because I gotta. Exactly. I love that movie. So from what I know, they actually updated the seats. So we'll be going in there in a minute. Man, they've added the lights to all these. Really cool to be back. It's, it's been a while. I think the last movie we saw in here was uh, Star Wars. Rise of Skywalker, I believe. So as we approach right over here, I think most of the seats are gonna be like this. So, have these. We love chair. Really, really cool. Hey, Ty. Hey, what's up? What's up? Now, what do you? The ceiling. Oh, really? Wow. That's amazing. Well, it's kind of hard to see. I even had to put on the light. <laughs> They've been redoing the inside, and they got these love seats where you can put your feet up. But most of them, these are the old seats, and they've taken out every each an individual one down the way. Hi Bradley. Hey. Hey. So there's definitely, there's like mo a little more than six feet. Quite interesting. All right, so this movie starts soon. So I'm gonna go ahead and, you know, do the thing, let it do its thing and we'll talk more about it whenever I get back to the house. Might cut in and out just to see what it looks like. So I gotta make mention yet again of the possible hitting Mickey here on the big screen. I can neither confirm or deny what my eyes see. We all remember what Ben Kenobi once said. Your eyes can deceive you, don't trust them. Ah, uh, well, that was amazing. Oh, yes, that was definitely fulfilling. Definitely, if you have a chance or had a chance to see it, take it. When they bring movies out that you've never seen, that have already been on video and DVD and all that, definitely take a chance and go see it that was totally worth it all right so as you can tell i'm home now it is what are you upset that i didn't take you you are oops ah so now that it is starting to get up there in time i think it's safe to say this one's pretty much chronicalized i mean i gotta wait a whole minute for her to get out of uh, getting ready for bed. She's so tired. She worked late last night, didn't really get any sleep because we had to start her things early today. And she wasn't able to nap all that well and stuff. But wow, seeing that, I've actually never cried during that movie, but I, my eyes got sweaty with respect at so many different spots. Especially ones with Carrie Fisher in it because it's been four years this uh, upcoming December. And uh, it was great to see a movie, my favorite Star Wars movie, and the fight scene. Just. <sighs> I almost wanted to walk out and be like, like Homer Simpson in this. 
Who'd have thought Darth Vader was Luke Skywalker's father? Thank you, Mr. Blow the picture for me. But I didn't, you know. I thought it was... It was a completely different feeling watching it on the big screen. Like, I was sitting there, I'm like, I know this movie so well that I sat there and I was like, can I make this go slower so I don't, you know, this time being able to see it? Because who knows if that's going to happen again. But with it happening, they've been showing older type movies that have been in the theaters before. You know, because there's really not a whole lot of new movies. They're starting to slowly churn as the year is progressing. But a lot of things have been pushed back, as you guys know. But wow. The Empire Strikes Back in the theaters. That was amazing. So I think... You know, if we ever get a chance to see another type of movie. My next thing I'm hoping, maybe Back to the Future. That would be cool to see in theaters. Or the drive-in, actually, for that matter. But one that I was talking with our friend Mike was seeing Lord of the Rings again. That would be epic. So I was about Tyler's age when uh, Fellowship of the Ring came out. What's about your age when Fellowship of the Ring came out? Wow. Yep. Really? Yep. 14, 15, somewhere around there. And then maybe after you watch uh, uh, Lord of the Rings, maybe you can go down to Goblin Town. Downtown, down to Goblin Town. Anyway, I gotta end this video with my sweetheart. Well, hi, baby. Hi. How was your nap? Was the force strong with that nap? Not strong enough. Oh. Mm. Still tired? Yeah. Oh. What did you think of, I mean, just for the fact of being able to see that? I, I, I saw the opening credits. Like, the, the reel. And then I saw bits and pieces. And then I slept. So I don't know. It was cool. The idea of it was cool. I just, I wish I had more sleepy time. Right. But today was a busy day, yeah. and blood this was... removal from body while being in the mm, It's okay. Still gonna have a good day. Yeah. We still have tomorrow off, and we're gonna be back at it again. So we'll be back at it pretty soon. The next one, I'm gonna have a lot of fun mm. with. Definitely can't wait to show you guys the changes around here. Well, I guess with that being said, this one's chronicalized. Mm -hmm. We love you guys. Stay safe. Stay strong. Stay, stay positive. Positive. And you know what? Like Justice Guard likes to say, I'm going to rip this off a little bit. You've done your duty. May the force be with you and go home and sleep well. Goodbye. Good, 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 good. Oh, goodbye. Goodbye, baby. Say a thing at night. Good night. Sleep tight. And may the force be with you.